The KDC 400 Sled Series works with various tablets and smartphones to collect barcode and MSR data. There are six models. The KDC 410 is a 1D barcode sled. The 415 is a 1D barcode sled with a magnetic stripe reader. The 420 is a 2D barcode sled. The 425 is a 2D barcode sled with MSR. The 430 reads MSR. Our newest model is the KDC 450, which is a 2D barcode with RFID sled with optional charging cradle. The KDC 415 and 425 encrypt MSR data and transmit to the smartphone to support secure transactions. They are both PCI transaction compliant devices. When you're swiping your card, make sure you hold it with the magnetic stripe facing up. When you take your KDC out of the box, first familiarize yourself with its operating components. The on-off switch is located on the side. Push it up to power on. Push it down to power off. The scan buttons are located at the top on both sides of the KDC. You can push either one to scan. Below the scan button on the left is the soft keyboard button to toggle up for iOS devices. The button on the right is the soft keyboard button to toggle down. The latest KDC models support two USB ports, a new micro USB in addition to the ultra mini USB. That means you can charge your KDC 400 using the micro USB port and your smart devices using the ultra mini USB port. Easy to change custom cases can be ordered separately to accommodate whatever smartphone or tablet you will be using with your KDC 400. Coamtac develops new cases each time a major smartphone or tablet comes out, so you can keep up with rapidly changing technology at a fraction of the cost of replacing your scanner. The cases currently available are listed on our website. They can be ordered separately. Custom case development is available upon request. Before configuring your KDC with your device, figure out which Bluetooth profile you'll need. HID iOS supports one-way communication for an iOS device. It's like using an HID keyboard. To support two-way communication for an iOS device, you have to use iPhone or MFI mode with KT Sync or develop your own application. HID Normal also supports one-way communication, but it's for a non-iOS device such as an Android or PC. You do not need to develop your own application to use this mode. For two-way communication with PCs and most other non-iOS devices, you have to use SPP mode with KT Sync or develop your own application. Now you're ready to configure your KDC. Because the 400 series does not have a display, one way to configure your KDC to your smartphone or tablet is to scan the special barcodes in your Quick Manual or your User Manual. Another way to do this is to use KT Sync on a Windows PC to configure the KDC 400. This is what you would see on the computer screen once you launch KT Sync to connect the KDC 400 to the PC. Remember, Coamtac provides free KT Sync synchronization and wedging software for Android, BlackBerry, iOS, Mac, and Windows devices.